How am I gonna try it? Huh? Of course. Looks so yummy. Watch. I can't try it, Emily. Of there course. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's so yummy. I could taste everything what we mix. All the ingredients. Nang's Traveling Kitchen. Today I'm here again at my neighbor's uh, kitchen, Emily. And as you know, she did baklava last time. And how are you doing, Emily? Great. Good. Thank you. I'm excited. What's on the table? What are we sharing the viewers today? Okay, today we're going to make wild green pesto, mm -hmm. um, which is just a condiment. Okay. My kids like it on toast and crackers and put it on pasta on oh. their sandwiches. Um, I'm excited and uh, so are you going to introduce us uh, this different kinds of uh, leaves or whatever you call it and I believe pesto came originated from Italy. I don't know, I'm not sure you guys but you can always Google and research so don't count on us that we know everything about a pesto, but we would like to share you about what is pesto and how to make pesto today. Okay, let's start. All right, so the wild greens we're gonna use are wild garlic mustard. Mm, it's I never seen small. that, yes. You see it everywhere right now, it's a good spring green. We'll use the leaves and the flowers. Is that it? That's, okay, let me try it. It's strong. It's strong? Wow. This is good. Yeah, garlic must mustard. Yeah, taste it. Taste it. I never okay. seen this one. Then we're gonna use dead nettle, purple dead nettle, mm -hmm. which is in the mint family. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to just pop the tops off and throw it out. Okay. So, and this we're gonna use the leaves and the flowers, okay. like I said. So we'll just pluck them. Like okay. This. okay. And I'm sure I know that this is dandelion. Dandelion. And okay, this is also good for for health. Uh, you know, for your health. Sure. Healthy, I should say. Yes. They all are. They're they all, all are. <laughs> <laughs> These are all from your garden? These are from my yard. Oh, from your yard. My garden. My yes, garden your yard. garden, yes. Okay. <laughs> and this is the same thing. This is the, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is um, wild onion grass mm. or chives, wild chives. Yeah, it smells so good. Yes. So okay. we're going to do a combination with this and also with. Um, some lighter greens, so like salad greens. Okay. Which just helps because these are very strong, very strong flavor. Okay, so, so we'll we're getting ready to put everything on the table. So we'll be right back. A few minutes later. So Emily, what are the rest of the ingredients after you describe the rest of the green leaves? So these are the the chop are uh, the we took it out from the stems, right? Yes. So okay. I've got my wild greens over here and um, we're just using spinach today, okay. but you could even use lettuce. Okay. Um, oh, so you could make lettuce on top of, you know, in included in the pesto wild greens. Yeah. Right. So okay. it's just a, um, a more tender green that kind of helps take the sharpness of the wild greens mm. down a notch. <laughs> wild. That's the word for today, guys. Wild. Okay. okay so, so greens. Uh huh. Garlic. Uh huh. And. Now this is only by taste. Okay, Some people by taste. will say three cups of greens, three cloves of garlic. Okay. I never used three cloves of garlic. <laughs> I want more like there's Six. like a heat. No. <laughs> I like the heat. And it's healthy for you guys the garlic, you know. Uh, so okay. we're using a handful of garlic. Handful of garlic. And this one? Sunflower seeds. Now people could use um, the pine. Pine nuts, pine nuts uh -huh. um, are a common one I think you use. Mm -hmm. I've used walnuts, um, any kind of nut that I have in there. Uh -huh. I like sunflower seeds and people who are allergic to nuts usually can tolerate that fine. It just helps kind of thicken it once uh -huh. you get it going. I'm sure, um, sorry, pardon my ignorance, but I didn't know there's nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast? Yes, and I thought just the yeast to you, uh, include it or mix it when you make bread. But this is something different, so can you tell me what's in here? So, uh, nutritional yeast we use for the flavor. Okay. It's salty. Um, so I'll use this and the salt to make that kind of salty flavor with the maple. Yeah. And nutritional yeast, I think they use it a lot for replacement as like a cheese flavor. Oh! For people who are vegan. 
See guys, we need we learned something today and then we have olive oil. Olive oil. And this is a uh, salt. Salt. You could use any types of salt, but this what we have right now is Himalayan salt. You could use sea salt as well. I love sea salt, but nowadays it's a trend, I guess, using Himalayan salt. So what do we ne do next? Okay, so we're gonna first blend our greens, mm -hmm. our garlic, and our olive oil. Okay. Is there any type of measurement or just like eyeball? There is a measurement. There's a measurement. So the measurement would be but in the description box below. We're gonna okay. eyeball it. Today we just eyeball it. Okay. So it's a cup of oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or half a cup. Mm -hmm. And we might add more if we need okay. it. Okay. So basically we're making paste right now, the pesto paste. Yep. Okay, okay so then um, our greens. Mm -hmm. Our spinach. Now, the ratios here, they would say like two cups of your of your lighter greens mm -hmm. and then a cup of your wild greens. Okay. But it's about a cup of oil, three cups of greens. Okay. Now depending on the flavor you like, you could do two cups of the wild greens and a cup and of the lighter greens. So you're saying you want it stronger uh, taste, then you add more wild greens. Yes. Awesome. Okay. And your garlic. And your garlic. Okay. Now we go to our blender. Okay, we just finished uh, putting in a blender. And uh, just so you know guys that the uh, the leaves, the wild leaves and the spinach are already pre-washed just in case you're curious. Okay, so we continue mixing some ingredients. All right, Okay. We've done our oil. Okay. We're gonna add our sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. And it's about half a cup. I love sunflower seeds. It's healthy for you as well. Go ahead, madam. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and then can we add this one? Yes. It's about a teaspoon. A, a tablespoon. tablespoon. Okay. Salt. And salt. Uh, Maybe half a cup. I mean half a half a cup. That's gonna be salty, my god. Half a tablespoon. Which have is a, about tis a teaspoon. <laughs> teaspoon. <or two. laughs> oh god. That's the sense of your work for today. <laughs> okay. Alright. And then we we'll put it back in the blender. Blend it again. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides and we'll blend it one more time because there's still some sunflower seeds that haven't quite mixed in yet. Okay. A few moments later. Yay! We have the finished product. I'm excited. So, how am I going to try it? Huh? Oh, guys. Looks so yummy. Can I try it, Emily? Of there course. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. It's so yummy. I could taste everything what we mix all the ingredients. It's really good. So uh, the measurement is once again is in the description below. Um, you could also, now this is just a very basic pesto, but you could add, a lot of times I'll add lemon juice and I didn't think of that this time. Oh that's right, I forgot. And so can you, you like add also butter instead of olive oil? Oh yes. Okay, yes. so that's another you could option add that you could cayenne pepper, mm -hmm. pick it up a little, um, any, any other spices or herbs as well, you could put rosemary, yeah. basil, and anything, because basically this is just the basic. So guys, thank you all for watching, and um, subscribe, likes, and hit the notification bell so you get the updates of our video with Emily. God bless, bye! Yeah.